Toyota globally is renowned for their build quality and reliability. Great off-roaders they've made in the past would include the Toyota 4Runner, the Prado, and the FJ Cruiser. But what you might be surprised to learn is not that Toyota has been building the ultimate off-roader for the past 30 years, but that it's still for sale, at least in Australia anyways. This is the Toyota 76 series. The 70 series was launched back in 1984 and was built to replace the 40 series, yet still keep that epic off-road capability. It was sold throughout the world, though places such as India, Mexico, Brazil, Korea, and unfortunately the US did not receive it. Now before we carry on with this review, I'm actually going to be doing a hat giveaway. So I've got one hat just like this one, I want to give it away. So to be in the draw, all you're going to have to do is like this video, be subscribed, comment down below on what your favorite Ross Reviews episode has been, and share this video. I'm going to be doing a live stream two weeks from now to announce the winner, so let's get back into this. Now what powers this beast is a 4.5 liter turbo diesel V8, makes about 205 horsepower and about 317 pound foot of torque. Now I know those numbers do not sound incredible at all, but let me tell you, she pulls. Now all of that pull is translated through a five speed manual gearbox with high and low range. And this is actually the only way you can spec this vehicle out because Toyota doesn't want to overcomplicate things. And if it ain't broken, don't fix it. Now just some minor modifications on this thing. It's obviously got upgraded wheels. The suspension has been lifted up just a little bit. We do have a aftermarket radio, and that is pretty much it. Everything else you see here is basically a factory spec option, and this thing just looks so good. I absolutely love this retro style. And again with Toyota, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. All right, now getting in this 76 series. Well, let's just fire up, go for a drive. <laughs> And just straight away on driving this thing, this is a seriously built turbo diesel V8. You know, just the noise of it, the feel of it, you can just tell this is a well-built machine. And the feeling of driving this thing, let me tell you, it is not replicated just about in anything else. This thing feels really mechanical. It really does feel like this is an absolute weapon that can just counteract anything you throw at it. And just taking it down on these small little trails, you know, this is seriously nothing for this car. And if this thing wasn't a dealer car, I tell you what, we would be taking this on a lot more of an adventure, but this thing is actually for sale. So this is for sale from Car Giant WA. So if anybody is interested, curious, a link will be in the description below. So unfortunately, we're not gonna be going crazy on the off-roading. Now the biggest thing you'll notice when you first jump in here is that it is so basic. And I'm talking the basic of the most basic. It is just, you know, old school, you know, controls for your climate control. You know, there's no dual climate control. There's no screens, no fancy electronics in this sucker because again, this is the thing that you will take out, you know, into the Sahara, into the, the desert, you know, this is the type of vehicle that will get you anywhere. And you can't have all that kind of electrical garbage in there, you know, frying out, getting destroyed. So everything in here is as simple as it possibly can be. Now I'm not gonna harp on and pretend that I know every fact about this thing because I really don't. 
Uh, but just driving this now in the bush, you know, we're not taking it crazy anywhere, but this is just such a special car. And when you have picturesque scenery like this and, you know, you're out on your own, you're in the bush, man, there's just something special. And, you know, I can see why these four wheel drives become so popular with people. Now taking this off the trails and onto the road. Once you start to drive this vehicle on the road, you start to kind of see some of the flaws with it. Now, this thing is a absolute beast and I absolutely love it, but it definitely is not designed for on the road use because there is a lot of noises, you know, the ride is not particularly comfortable. You do sit very high up, which is a great view, uh, you know, great driving position. But yeah, you can very much tell that most of the things in here are an afterthought unless they're actually applicable off the road. I do kind of get a similar vibe to that Toyota FJ Cruiser I reviewed because everything in this 76 series is built here for a purpose and it's built for a purpose 100, 1000 times more than that FJ Cruiser because that FJ Cruiser still had a million more luxuries than this does and this one just, it just feels like a military grade vehicle almost it's it's that superior it's it's that basic in here and it really does feel like you can cross a continent in this thing now let's get into the five questions here though and uh, we always firstly start off with the sound so just sending it a bit <laughs> this thing It sounds pretty damn good. Uh, you know, it, it's nothing amazing. This is no, you know, sports car or, or anything ridiculous, but it is a turbo V8 diesel, and you can definitely hear that sort of surge of power when you really put your pedal down. Uh, it is quite satisfying. You really do feel like there is a lot of torque under your right foot. Now practicality, well, obviously this is a fairly practical car in the sense if you live out in the bush, you need to get around, extremely reliable, go anywhere. So you do have quite a bit of practicality there. You know, it's, it's quite large. You can option these in a few different trims. Now as for daily practicality, well, it kind of struggles because obviously you do not have many luxuries in here at all. So, you know, if you're looking for a really comfortable cruiser that, you know, you can take to work uh, every day, you're really gonna wanna take a close look at this because you might not love everything about it. Uh, you know, this thing is quite a rough ride. It is not the most comfortable car in the world. Again, you don't really have a lot of places to rest your arm. The gear shifter is surprisingly a little far forward. Um, you do kind of have to, sh to stretch for it. Now as for your fuel consumption, this thing is claimed at 11.9 liters per 100 kilometers. So, you know, it's not the worst out there, but again, you're going to drive this thing pretty hard, uh, you know, expect for that number to climb up quite a bit. One thing to mention though, is that this has a 130 liter fuel tank, so you won't need to go to the Bowser all that often when you fill it up, which is not bad. Now price, well these things brand new, they cost around 60 to $70,000, which is a lot of money. And you know, when you look inside this cabin, you really start to question is it worth that? Uh, you know, it, it is really only when you see this thing off-road, how capable it is, how, uh, you know, rock solid this thing is reliability-wise, 
is when the price starts to make sense. Now, on the used market as well, these hold their value tremendously well. I honestly can't think of a car that would hold its value as well as one of these from you know your run-of-the-mill standard one. These cars on the used market will generally go anywhere from like 40 grand all the way up to like over $100,000. Uh, this particular one is a few years old, so this is a 2013 model. This is for sale for 55 grand. And that is basically the price for one of this age. And uh, this has 143,000 kilometers on it and it's for sale for 55 grand. These cars really hold their value just like no other ones I've really seen. Uh, you know, obviously if we're talking about supercars or hypercar, whatever, some of those can go well and truly way above what they were originally. But for the average car to hold its value that well after over seven years, that's just amazing. It is amazing. Now handling, well, as you can imagine, this thing on the windy B roads is not the best goer. Uh, you know, it will give it a go, but expect to be thrown around the place and the steering to be quite sloppy. Uh, it's still a hell of a lot of fun to throw around the corners, but it really doesn't feel all that confident inspiring. Now as for your towing capacity, this will tow three and a half ton. The thing weighs 2.3 ton. So, you know, it's a pretty good hauler. And, you know, for what this thing is designed for, this thing is bloody brilliant. Now, again, just on the looks of this thing, I just cannot get over how good this rig looks. You know, especially in this silver, uh, you know, with the black wheels, the lift kit, it just works so well. And, you know, this thing, it's like, almost reminds me sort of, of like a G-Wagon but a more manlier version. Uh, you, you know, this thing will just turn heads, the sound of it, the presence of it. It's no wonder why this thing is so desirable because it really will go anywhere. It looks the business and man, it feels fun to drive. Now zero to a hundred, just pulling up on this back road. Let's just see what this thing can do. So obviously we're in the five speed manual. There ain't no assist here, so let's go. So three, two, one. <laughs> We're moving. 60, 80, 90, 100. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this thing gets floaty when you get up to the speed. <laughs> I gotta say, you know, with the noise of this thing, the way this thing kind of throws you back, the whole thing kind of leans up a bit when you step on it, it is a lot of fun to push your right foot down and run through the gears. You know, it is a bit of work, but it is rewarding, I tell you what. Now I'm gonna finish the video off here today, so a huge thanks goes out to Car Giant WA for allowing me to take out their Toyota Land Cruiser 76 series. This thing is just a absolute beast and I just had so much fun taking this out today. So I hope some of you guys learned something today. This thing is an absolute off-road weapon and will stand the test of time. So if you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you're new here and we'll see you on that next video.